The Mule is currently making its way through theatres, and whilst it is underperforming slightly at the cinema, that doesn't mean that there's no merit to the film. Throughout this video, I'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about the movie, as well as the real life inspiration behind it. There will of course be heavy spoilers here, so if you don't want to know the film's ending or plot details, then I highly suggest that you turn off now. For everyone else, I'm Definition, and welcome to the channel where I ruin it so you don't have to. The Mule follows Earl Stone, played by Clint Eastwood. Earl is a 90 year old Korean war veteran who's on the edge of complete financial ruin. To top this all off, his family want very little to do with him due to the neglect that they've faced from Earl over the years. Basically, Earl is a hard ass with a stiff upper lip that feels like the kind of character Clint Eastwood was born to play. Earl is based on the real life World War II veteran Leo Sharp who was known to his cartel handlers as El Tata. Similar to Earl, Leo was a horticulturalist who began his career on the wrong side of the law, shipping cash on behalf of the cartel. Leo quickly elevated to narcotics and was a very reliable member of staff. Leo used a pickup truck to transport up to 300 kilograms of cocaine at a time from the southern US border to Detroit. Similar to this, we watch Earl doing drug runs as a mule for the cartel and he quickly rises through the ranks due to his dependency. Though the film shifts the truth slightly, with Stone being a veteran of the Korean War, whereas Sharp was the Second World War, they are still very similar in ideology. Stone and Sharp both saw the money as ways to right the wrongs of their past, and I love how Earl uses the cash that he accumulates in a sort of Robin Hood manner to fix his past. Earl renovates his VFW post and pays for his granddaughter's wedding, both of which he would have been unable to do so without the trade that he worked in. What the film does expertly is that it reflects the flaws in the American dream. Earl worked his entire life, even sacrificing major events from it in order to continue his work for material goals. This forces him to still be working at 90 with little to show for it. His family hate him for it and he has no real relationships that matter anymore. Very little in his life has a purpose apart from running drugs. Similar to this, Clint Eastwood himself has often sacrificed elements of his life in order to pursue his career in filmmaking. Even though he is approaching 90, Eastwood is still working and whilst he is cemented as a legend, one has to wonder at what cost. There's a real autobiographical sense to the piece that definitely makes it stand out. What defines the film is not Earl's lack of respect for authority, but rather his complete rejection of it. The DEA, similar to the cartel, is depicted as an operation that cares little for its employees and Bradley Cooper does a fascinating job of realising that he and Earl are not too dissimilar. Like Leo, Earl becomes trapped in a web that he cannot escape from and the DEA close in on the character by the film's finale. By the end, Earl is arrested and put on trial. The man pleads guilty in court and is sentenced to federal prison. Mirroring this, Leo was arrested and eventually confined to prison, however, due to declining health, after one year he was set free. Leo Sharp died in December 2016 at the age of 92. Sharp may have been showcased as a hero, but a lot of lives were ruined due to the career path he chose. The Mule itself is a depiction of how life doesn't tend to end all guns blazing, but rather with a whimper. The fact that the movie is underperforming at the box office is poetic in itself, but I highly recommend that you check it out, as it's definitely a fitting farewell for an actor of Eastwood's stature. So what are your thoughts on The Mule? Did you enjoy it and what did you take from the film? Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and check out my breakdown of this week's other big movie, Aquaman. This is a channel for people who are mad into movies, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this, I've been Definition, you've been the best and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.